Hi friends, this is Susie, your Candy Crush Guru, here to help you solve the puzzle of level 48 in Candy Crush Friend Saga, where we have 30 moves to free 13 friends, and it told me that this is a hard level, so I know to expect some difficulties here. But I did bring in my friend Yeti, so if I can collect 12 cyan candies, he'll throw a wrapped candy onto the board. And look at that, I can make a wrap, or a stripe, uh, that will give me four, but what I'm going to try to do is extend this. It's not likely to happen, but if I play around a bit, maybe I can get a color bomb instead. And I see I can't because this has dropped into a strange position, so I can't get another one here. But I thought it was worth a shot to try. If it says that it's a hard level, I want to see if I can extend my luck as much as possible. But right now I'm getting some good stuff done. I maybe should have gone for that wrapped candy. I didn't have a chance to decide. I played too quickly before I allowed my brain to engage. So next time I'm going to think more clearly about this. Now that wrapped candy is off to the side. Not extremely helpful in my opinion. Let's use this stripe and really shake things up because now that wrapped candy, see it has more impact because it made it further down the board. I could make a stripe, but it's kind of aimed in the wrong direction. I want to work down here as much as possible. So I'm actually going to go for a fish, because the fish can be helpful. Not much. Now what? Let's see. Nothing great. I will take what the recommend recommendation is. But I don't know how thrilled I am with that. Okay, so here. Now I think I can make... Oh, stink! Why did I think that was a green? Well, anyway, I'll set off a stripe and I'll make a fish. And then I'll make a stripe here. Now I've got this wrapped, but I want to set off the wrapped where it is. I like that wrapped where it is. And if I move it, then it goes somewhere else and I lose the use of that fish. So I'm keeping that where it stands. Actually, we're going to just try to blow things up here. I still have 14 moves left. I'm reaching down here fairly well. Yeti, okay, fine. I don't like where this wrapped candy is, so let's do this here. Set everything off. I could put these fish together. I don't mind that, but I think this is a better opportunity for me. Yeah, I could. I'm going to do this instead. Oh, how did I not see that that was a wrapped candy right there? I'm not focusing, folks. Really, that was just ridiculous on my part. Now I've got this nice stripe trapped. Unfortunately, it's way high up there. I'm going to not take it. I know I might lose it, but instead I'm going to work on a few other things that might bring it down into the action for me. While I have other moves, I'm going to take these other moves and keep trying to work this downward. All right, so I think that's about as far down as I can get it. And thankfully, even though I've been making some poor moves, I think I still have a good shot at this. Thank you, Yeti. That's a really good spot, actually. In my opinion, anyway. I like that. I can make some specials here. I'm not really thrilled with those. I like this instead. And there. Now I can set off that wrapped candy. It's collecting some of the uh, more cyan. It's clearing things out. There we go. So with two moves left, even though I made some mistakes, so even though this is a hard level, if you play relatively well, I think that you'll be able to get it. Uh, you can make some mistakes and still recover from them if you don't let them get in your head too much. Uh, sometimes you can, and then of course sometimes you get a board where no matter what you do, it's not going to work. But anyway, that's how I beat this level. Hopefully you'll be just as successful. If this was helpful, I'd ask that you consider liking and subscribing. If you have any questions or comments, please put those below. And as always, thanks so much for watching.